There are a couple of celestial beings from the Chaos Realm, but you can call us Globy and Boognish. We're going to see Ween at the Greek on July 28th, and you can too by doing the following. Join the World Record Podcast Patreon at $5 a month or above. Send an email to frankcom69 at gmail.com with Ween in the subject line. Wait to see if you're the winner of two tickets to see Ween. Flight and accommodation are not provided. Yo, this show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Find more balance with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash world record today and get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash world record. Are you ready, Aaron? I am rolling. Okay. Do you want to get one last neck scratch into the microphone before we... All right. Perfect. World record. Hit the post. That's what that's called. Oh, is it? I think. World record. I gotta say, it's a pretty good episode so far. This is not bad. World the levels are good. Record. Yeah. Record. For once, the levels are good. Oh boy, shots <laughs> fired. <laughs> Got the uh, intro. The woo. It's showtime. That sounds like me, but it's not me. Hmm. Who is it? I don't know. Okay. Some guy. Could, it could just, be a lawsuit. I just want, I don't want to jump in and scare you, but that could be a lawsuit waiting to happen. Actually, that I wonder if that's why Uh-oh. YouTube, like, because there's never a clean monetization on YouTube for us. There's always there's some like problem issue where the dollar sign is yellow, <laughs> and it's like, nah, you're not gonna get. You that's know, great. it's like it's either there's a copyright <laughs> and thing, and you have no clue why every time. All these rules are very vague. Like, yeah, no, do you I know, deal yeah. with Instagram at all? And it's just oh, yeah. like your post violated well, TikTok's our TikTok's community- worse. Oh, really? Yeah, TikTok will just be like, hey, too many prepositions. <laughs> like, well, I was just talking. Community guidelines is a big new term yeah. uh, for, you know, we're just not, no. You're no, not well, do yeah. that. And then once you get on their radar, I feel like it's yeah. you're, it's just more. You're on the path to some But sort I do, of bam. like, this could be copyrighted, this fucking sound effect. Well, that guy's <laughs> laughing all the that guy's laughing it's all the way. Showtime! <laughs> He's making a lot. Now, listen, you don't think it, now listen to me do it. It does sound like me. Okay. Woo! It's showtime! That's very Sounds just close. Just like it, right? Yeah. I mean, I was trying to sound I like would it, suggest that you do it just to, you know, see. Throw off the See if algorithm. you get the green money sign. Algorithm? Yeah. He's one of the owners here, Bill Burr and Algorithm. Oh, uh, Al's unbelievable. He's the spine. <laughs> yeah, he knows. He's the guy. He can identify any song. He's very good, yeah. Algorithm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of stuff where it's like, it's like advertisers won't like this, which I get, you know, when you start off and you're talking about, I don't know. I don't know what buzzwords YouTube searches for. Sure. But if you're swearing a lot, then it's like, well, they're not going to want to. Advertise. Yeah, I think you're not supposed to swear in the begin. Like First the f- ten minutes, yeah, I think. something like that. Yeah. Well, we'll try to do that. I think we might have already sworn. Maybe not. Maybe we have. Uh, but you know what? I'm an artist first, a businessman second, that's, which is why I have seven roommates. That's what I love about you. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what I. That's what's impressive. Uh, almost fifty. No drive to sell out. Instead, just live exactly. in a studio in Burbank with seven other people. Yeah, seven guys. Oh. Uh, better than my last living situation, which was cheaper. But it was 27 guys, and it was a one-bedroom apartment. Oh, yeah. But we only paid 20 bucks each. That's rent. pretty good. It's not bad. That's a lot you of room. You can find that much. Yeah, it's living in a mosh pit, basically. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thin-walled mosh pit. Um, ladies and gentlemen, we have a guest, as you notice. Uh, Spam is not here, because, as you know, she's still recovering from so me throwing her down a flight of so stairs. So sorry to hear about that happening. I know, man. I was really hungry for dinner that night. And she it's like, just, it's so random who that hits. Yeah. It's out there now, and this and this is a message for all you ladies at home. Uh, if your husband's hangry, it's le- it's not illegal to throw you down a flight. Well, of remember stairs. the term's not hungry. It's hangry. It's hangry. Yeah, You're yeah. pretty much saying this is a heightened state of starvation. <laughs> That'd be good. That's uh, you know, the hungry man dinners. <laughs> hangry uh, man. Hangry man dinners. Cooks in nine seconds. <laughs> I could see the Saturday Night Live sketch now. Guy just like you know. <laughs> Telling his boss to go screw himself yeah. and then, uh, you know, hitting his kid. Yeah. I guess you can't. I'm hit. angry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a hangry man's <laughs> dinner. Uh, but uh, Gareth Reynolds is here. Hello. Uh, oh, shoot. Thank you. What, is it, uh, what happened? There we go. I was wondering where they were. Yeah, they're here. Oh, come on. I'm just 
just having some fun. That's a sign, poking, that's a sign that, that you're good. Fun. Oh, you're okay. not, you know, if you're if you're gonna get to this level, yeah, you know, everybody's not gonna love you. It's a, but that sounded pretty unanimous. It, there, well, there was. There I don't hear mixed, one. Well, let me hear it again. Yeah. Oh no, I don't want to. Oh. Thank you. A lot of them are on your side. Yeah, but then they ship. That's just a group in the back. Oh, I thought it was the same group. Okay. <laughs> they bust them in. So you just kind of, oh, I get you. It's, yeah, I don't know why they keep doing that bus tour. Yeah, no, that's not cool. They're, they're hangry. They don't <laughs> there it them. is, yeah. There's a bus tour that stops at, uh, do you live around here? Are you on this side of town or are you somewhere else? No, I'm a little further. I'm a little off further out of here. Um, there's a Sizzler on Los Feliz Boulevard. Oh, I know that Sizzler, though. That's a great, you know. It's I've one of the better this, ones. It's it's nice. Better than the La Brea. I don't know. I've never been to that. <laughs> one. There, yeah, stick to the Los Feliz. There was one. There was one in Eagle Rock that I went to once. And I that remember. Was, that I know was a that real one. Small. That one was yeah. pretty dingy. Yeah. This one on Los Feliz. I. I mean, I've kind of taken a break. It's a great place to go work. Like if you want to write yeah. or something, you know. Because sure. coffee shops, and I've said this on the podcast before. It's like I get anxiety. I have like two little kids, so I got to get out of the house if right. I need to get something done. And uh, I have an office a couple days a week, but if it's one of the days that I don't have the office, I'll go to Sizzler because one, Sizzler, you don't bump in anybody you know. You're not going to get caught up in a bunch of little weird conversations because right. you saw some idiot you worked with once. Right. Uh, Wi-Fi, it's ten bucks. They don't hassle you. You have a whole big. Are you booth. eating? Well, you get the salad bar. Okay. So, you so just you're, get you're the saying ten dollars, just leave me alone, kind of. Yeah, you know, well, right. I, t I always tip the ladies at least $5. Okay. Um, sometimes I'll do a hundred percent, you know, I'll do a $10 tip. Uh, if yeah. I'm there from 11 a.m. to like 4 p.m. Wow, a real shift. You could do it, yeah. yeah. And they're not going to hassle you because it's never, the place is huge. It's never crowded. Right. Except for, I think it's Tuesdays, there is some weird bus tour that stops there. And then, then it gets, gets a little crowded for about an hour. But, but uh, they know you. There's a couple. Are of, you eating? I mean, uh, yeah, you, the, you that's the snack. thing with the salad, salad bar. Salad good. You go up and graze, you know. Yeah. You kind of, you know, generally I'll, work, yeah, I mean, if I'm hungry when I get there, then I'll hangry. eat something. But if I'm hangry, then I get in someone's face. That's right. I saw a know. guy choke to death there. Really? Have I talked about that Ch before? You saw a guy ac actually choke to death? Oh. Actually choke to death. Did, did we turn the AC on or no? I turned it up. Yeah, oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. It was like a prank. Yeah, I feel, I feel hotter. Really? Yeah, yeah. Uh, there was a guy, I was there working and um, noticed. Working I, on your own stuff, not like table waiting. Well, you know, I mix oh, it up. Oh, a little shit, okay. I'll take a few orders here and there. They, they don't like nice. it, but I. I well, know. probably because you don't work there and know how it works. Right. Yeah, yeah that's going to be troubling. I'll screw it up. Yeah, right. But they, uh, yeah, I was just there like on my laptop and uh, not sitting in my usual, I have, a I have a booth that I usually get, but I was sitting in a different place because some asshole was in my booth. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then I just kind of see like this commotion and, uh, oh no, what I saw was the paramedics coming in. Okay. And the paramedics come in and there's a guy on the floor and I'm just like, what's going on? And they're like giving him, uh, you know, doing stuff to him. Yeah. And then when they leave, you know, they have him on the stretcher. They're, you know, messing with him on the floor for a while. Trying to help him. You Pulled mean. his pants down. No, they're, they're oh, teenagers. The oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> this the is jackass horrible. guys. Oh, my God. Uh, no, they, they were like, yeah, I mean, I was kind of like not trying, you know, I didn't want to be like hovering over whatever What's was happening? going on. But then as they had him on the stretcher and they're leaving, they're, they're doing like compressions on the stretcher uh -huh. all the way out. And then I went over to like the guy who was at the table next to him. I was like, well, what was that all about? And he's like, oh, the guy, somehow I missed all of this, but the guy, and I, I remember the guy, I remember walking past him because he was sitting there alone and he kind of had a vibe of like a guy who maybe just got out of jail or something. Okay. But a lot of people at Sizzler have that. Yeah, that's the, yeah. But for some reason I noticed the guy like, you know, I don't know. I don't know why I walked past him on my 75th trip to the salad bar. And, uh, and he's like, oh, that guy that was sitting over there started choking. And I started trying to give him the Heimlich maneuver. Oh, shit. And nothing was working. And some, I guess a bunch of people called 911. And then the ambulance got there or whatever the, you know. The jackass uh, guys. The jack <laughs> yeah, they came in a giant shopping yeah, cart. Yeah, right. And uh, they... You know, they were doing the compressions, and he said that they cut his neck. Oh, they did neck the trach. No, it wasn't oh. for the trach. They put a tongs in there and pulled a big piece of steak. Like, the steak oh, was, like, God. down too far. But uh, it seems like this whole thing went on for two, because I was saying that, that seems like it went on for a while, and he was just like, yeah, I don't 
think that guy's a lot. Like, you know, because right. he was doing the Heimlich for, let's say, you know, three or four minutes. Right. Yeah, it's and right then there. the ambulance gets there, and then they're still doing like the fucking chest compressions on the way out. It's like that's like seems like this is a good at least ten to fifteen minute ordeal. I don't that think feels you can... like. So it's, I mean, that is I, in a way it is a testament to you know the consistency of the meat they're serving. It, it's hard to chew. <laughs> the steaks aren't great. They're not great. Um, yeah, stick with the salad. Was this bar. the guy in your booth? I wish. Yeah, because then at least there's a little. There's someone wins. No, this is on the other side of okay. the. This is on the whole other. Okay. Uh, other wing of the. The other uh, wing of the restaurant. Right. But uh, yeah, I don't. I, I think I might have left, but the whole place didn't like. You It'll know, the guy who was doing the Heimlich working. maneuver kept just hanging out with he his stuck family around? there. Interesting. And, yeah, nobody was like in tears, like right. leaving and like, oh, no, no, uh, <laughs> well, managers, one guy like, everybody's, it's on the house, yeah, you know. <laughs> We've it, all just bonded through this is trauma bonding. It's just kind of, yeah, just do whatever business as usual, drinks on us. Yeah, uh, no, man died. I mean, I then... did hit there is an ice cream machine, you got to get that. No oh, you went how many people, uh, yeah, well, that you know, you're not going to choke on. I don't think people choke on the Frosties. I almost choked on ice cream. Is that right? Yeah. I did it have so much, stuff in it? It was, I was just eating so much of it. Pounding. And did, uh, Were you hangry? I wasn't hangry. I was, ha I was, uh. Horgy? Were you horny and hungry? Happy and hungry. Or no, hap, yeah. Hapgry. Hapgry. You were hapgry. Uh, but I ate so much ice cream. This is a true story. Aaron can back me up on this. I ate so much ice cream that my poop came out cold. Aaron? Is that... I have no way to confirm that. Oh, okay. Well, okay. It's just... well, I mean, I've told this story a bunch yeah, of told times. So. You've told the story. So you've heard him tell the lie before at worst <laughs> and at best. A lie? Yeah, at best. Okay. Yeah. You can eat. So, well, let's call a place. We'll call a place and see if it's possible. <laughs> Who would you call? Gastroenterologist? Or Baskin Robbins. Yeah. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. I've been calling uh, Baskin Robbins off the clock. <laughs> well, so just get the number up. I'm sure this will be easy. Yeah, there's one right up the street. Or Sizzler. Okay, yeah, you know what? We won't say because we're going to bleep the name out anyway. Okay. Um, don't want a bunch of people calling these places. Yeah. But your podcast is a dollop. Yeah. Speaking, that's kind of an ice cream term. Yeah, you could argue that a do there's a dollop of ice cream came dollop out of you. Dollop of uh, whipped cream. Isn't that usually? Yeah, there's a, a Daisy Sour Creams slogan is just a dollop. Oh, do a dollop. Something like that. Yeah, there's a, there's a whole... Um, yeah, I know the song. Yeah. yeah. Do a dollop of daisy. Do, yeah. Try a bump. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, but yeah, the podcast is the dollop. And, um, how long have you guys been we, doing that? All, about 30 years. And we <laughs> actually did an episode on the Heimlich, and you're not supposed to do the Heimlich. You're supposed to back pat. Okay. Henry Heimlich was like a, a lunatic who was obsessed with fame. And oh, so really? the Heimlich is helpful, you know, in some ways, but eventually. He tried to get it for people who are drowning, the Heimlich. And he just wanted oh, okay. the Heimlich to be like a, a thing, a big cure-all. Um, and now he was, and also a lot of people don't know this, he was part of Operation Paperclip, where they brought the Nazis over. That's right. So Henry Heimlich was a Nazi. Yep. But so if you do the Heimlich maneuver, you're kind of a Nazi. Yeah, well, you're supposed to start with a hand. You start, with <laughs> you the, start up here. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's called the Heimlich. <laughs> oh, that hurt. I think I spray uh, my tongue with that. Yeah, maybe you, you got to show after this. Too, yeah, so don't yeah, use it, up all that. I'm trying. Yeah, I'm trying to don't pace myself. Don't a little use bit. it all up. Yeah, yeah, no, exactly. I need a little uh, something left in the tank. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, we'll call this place. Um, what else do they? How can I help you? Hey, how's it going? This is a uh, beam, and I was in there earlier. I got the uh, I got that ice cream cake. For my uh, baby uncle's birthday. For who? Remember, for my grandmom's, my, my baby uncle, remember I was talking, I don't know if you were the girl I was talking to, but it's my grandma had a baby, and now I have a baby uncle, and we got that uh, ice cream cake for him. It was today? Earlier today, yeah. Are you sure? Wait, what location was it? I, at your location there, but I, I just, well, I have a question anyway. That's, that's fine. Yeah, There's yeah. no problem with the cake. We all love it. Okay, okay. Um, but my, <clears throat> my younger cousin, and tell me if you ever heard of this before, and he's, he's on the phone. He's a little embarrassed, but... Uh, it's okay. He ate, he claims, he said that he ate so much ice cream that his poop came out cold. Yeah, I had like a really bad like ice cream headache, and then, and then after, when I went poop, the... 
it was when he wiped his hand he said he could feel that it was still cold my fingers like, hurt yeah now is that possible to eat that much ice cream like is it how fast you eat it or i don't know out? i'm not sure I'm, i've never heard of such a thing so will it stop i mean what i guess that? that's the next thing is should we what what's the next steps here do we do we call do we take him to an urgent care or something or is it okay no i think i think you'll be fine okay um yeah oh okay yeah i mean i guess you work at an ice cream place so you would know do, has anybody ever called before about something no, like this i've never i've never heard of that before so really I mean, surely I it's know. happened to an employee. I know if I had a job where it was all the ice cream. Now, do you get all the free ice cream you can eat? Um, no. What? Wow. Well, then they probably, what do they pay you? Like $100,000 a year or something? <laughs> yeah, well, good luck with that. It seems like um, the biggest it benefit. Be okay. The biggest yeah, benefit. Well, now he said his pee's coming out hot. It's really like, it, it, I just want pee and it is hot to touch. Extra, I mean, it's usually warm, but now he says it's boiling. Hot. It's like hot, boiling. Though. Steaming like, hot. That's not right, normal. Well, yeah, I can't really help you guys with that. I'm you sorry. know what? I think um, we, we could do a tiebreaker. I go in the bathroom and do a jizz, and we'll see what that is. Okay. Okay. Right. Hold on one second. Okay. We're, <clears throat> we're going to wait for him to do a jizz, and then um, we'll see what temperature that is, and maybe that'll balance it out. Okay, well, I'll, I'll let you guys figure that out. Um, if you guys need to regular temperature, call the doctor he said it's anything. regular. Regular, but you're not suggesting that we call nine one one or anything. Probably okay, I guess. Yeah, it's probably no, okay. I think you'll be okay. Have okay. a great day, okay? Okay. Bye. Wait, one more thing. <laughs> she was pretty reasonable. She was great. I don't think she should be giving medical advice, though. Well, I mean, I, I think, I mean, part of it, I think, is that she obviously doesn't want to be on the hook for any of this. <laughs> yeah. You know. But John Baskin obviously will have her ass <laughs> if this gets out of control. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Now, guys and girls, how much time do you spend on yourself in a given week versus how much time you spend on other people? How do you balance the two? A lot of times you can neglect taking care of yourself and keeping an eye on yourself and how you're doing in the cabeza and you know therapy can maybe help give it a shot better help it's easy because you don't even have to leave your place you can do it on zoom talk to a therapist try it out see if it helps it helps a lot of people and you know what you get 10 percent off if you use world record in the code there so find more balance with better help Visit BetterHelp.com slash World Record today. Get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, dot com slash World Record. Now, back to our program. Baskin's cool. Robbins is a dick. Yeah, uh, yeah. Very litigious, too, from what I hear. He hear. also a member. Uh, he was brought over in Operation Paperclip. Yeah. Baskin and Robbins. A lot, yeah. They really. made the ice cream for the concentration <laughs> well, camps, which is, you don't hear a lot about. They you know really I mean? only focus on the negative in the well, concentration I, camp? to be fair, there was so much bad, but I think you're right. A lot there of bad, were... but there was free, it was unlimited free ice cream yeah. the whole time you were there. Right, yeah, which is just... Doesn't make it okay what they uh, did. Without, but... And I think really get ahead of it right now. No way are you explaining what happened away. I mean... No, I'm not awful. saying... I, I'm, it, yeah, it doesn't diminish the atrocities. And Hagen does too. I mean, Good well, everybody Lord. knows yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, they were Baskin Robbins had a certain number of camps, and Hagen Dazs had other thirty one. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, um, and uh, I'm not saying that it it makes the atrocities any less atrocious. That's what I just want to make sure you're really clear on. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I wouldn't say that. I'm saying, I'm just saying, like, let's paint a full picture for everybody. That yeah, there and was unlimited. I like you know, you can have, like let's say you can have it one or one of two ways. You can be in a concentration camp with no free ice cream. Yeah. Or you can be in a concentration yeah, camp with unlimited question. free ice cream. Without question. I'm not saying it makes anything what they did better. No. But I'm saying there were, you know, th that was a be nice thing to provide for the Yeah, relatively speaking, it was extremely nice. <laughs> yeah. Because everything else was so 
horrendous. Yeah. Like you said it is an atrocity. I just want to make sure you get ahead of any controversy or anything like that. I don't think it's a controversial statement to say that I think it was nice for the Nazis to provide unlimited free ice cream. I just time. think you in today's cancel culture, it's possible That's true. that that woke mind virus can clip that up a little bit and so I'm just That's true. I just think getting having your con having context is just going to help you long term. It wouldn't be hard to make that statement sound bad. Yeah, I that's what editing, I'm worried about cuz it's not yeah. a bad statement. No. Yeah, nobody's going to claim facts. that. It's just It's just it's just there's a lot if you cut out a little bit. Yeah, if could you just be a do, do some creative editing. Yeah. They well, with AI, ChatGPT, like, yeah. you know, wouldn't take much. And that's what the uh, writers are striking about. Yeah. Absolutely. They don't want that AI in there. Nope. No, two letters they don't want to write. That's right. You know what? That's a good idea. Maybe we call we get I like someone that. at the picket line and we say, listen, just Take eliminate AI the letters out. A and I out Should of... Beat them. Beat that, them at their own game. Maybe be writing better stuff. Yeah. Okay, now let's let's call a doctor just to see if this ice cream lady's okay. advice was... Uh, okay. Just to make sure she knows what she's talking yeah, about. Thank you for calling the okay. offices of Dr. Dr. What is a curtain Daniel. call? You have reached our answering service. Bunch of perverts. If you have a life-threatening emergency, please hang up now and dial 911 or go to the nearest emergency room. I think room. that's funny. Every time you call... call my doctor, hospital, or patient with an urgent call, please press 1 to reach the doctor on call. Oh, the doctor on call will be notified immediately and will return the call as soon as possible. That's not our regular office hours are Monday through Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. with a lunch from 11.30 a.m. That's what we do. We called to lunch during lunch. Oh, right. Uh, the irony. The, um, yeah, how do you eat lunch when you're, you better yeah, wash your is, hands before you go to lunch yeah, when you're, I would if imagine, you're an yeah. asshole doctor. <laughs> I know they, I know they don't like to be called that and I don't even, I don't know much about the business. I think it's all about the inflection. It's like, oh, you're an asshole doctor. And right. You're not like, oh, you're an asshole doctor. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. It's like it's that's comma. something that loses like uh, in text. You mm -hmm. have to like be clear. Yeah. Um, well, it's a, just a comma, right? It would You're be a comma. Asshole. Doctor, right? Well, uh, no, no, there's I, no comma. It could be that. You have to, too. Italics, you would use. Yeah, maybe. right, right. Yeah. But you could also do that one. Yeah. You're an asshole, doctor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you you could see, do that. But it depends. Yeah. If he's like a foot doctor who's a jerk, then you would say. But yeah. if he's an actual. Thank you for calling um, the offices of Dr. It's the same lady. The same. Hey, wait, that was your name. <laughs> Dr. Garrett. And I, I, well, I'll take that up after the show, but I'm obviously not happy about that. Uh, oh, look at that. This is all, all these are the same number. Oh, because there's 17 doctors there. Yeah, but still, you would think that. It just consolidate it to one listing yeah. on Google. Come on. Yeah. I would same, imagine. Same. Okay, here's a different one. Have you ever been to, uh, have you had a colonoscopy yet? Never had a colonoscopy. I had an upper GI, which is you basically stomach, the same uh, thing. Yeah, had a what's stomach What's that, you issue. drink like boron? And well, that's the upper GI. You drink the barium. Oh, barium, yeah, yeah. So you drink that, and then, but I do drink boron uh, <laughs> when I'm watching the game. Yeah. And, uh, and then they go, they go up, the, uh, up the other way with the barium. I don't you, know if they do that? it like that anymore. Yeah, I did both. Uh, I mean, I said if I was gonna do one, I wanted to do the other. When I was young, when I was like a kid, I had like stomach issues. Like, okay. Yeah. So, plus it was also just fun. You, you know, I remember full doing. Of chalk. I don't know if they went up my butt. That's weird. I now that you mention it, I, I remember having to do an upper GI. Or, yeah. It's like paper mache. Yeah. Well, with the barium, they just X-ray you from that point. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It highlights a bunch of organs. Yeah. Or yeah. It, it's fun for sure. I had the, because um, you know they lower the age to 45 for uh, yeah, colonoscopies, colonoscopies right. now. Are you, how old are you? 43. Okay, so you're getting there. I'm excited. You know, I got to say, it, it is, it's not something I was like excited about. I mean, it's nice to, like, I'm all about anal. Get, a, <laughs> anything that goes in that, like, I have a tattoo above my, uh, above my you know like tramp stamp area yeah. that says entrance only with an arrow okay um and has that worked <laughs> has that sort of warded off any it's had its pros and cons yeah you know i could imagine i'd say the pros outweigh the cons slightly yeah. yeah um and when i talk about cons i'm speaking about the time when i was in jail oh right yeah. so like actual criminals <laughs> yeah yeah, right, yeah, when yeah they had when their, right the shower situation yeah but um 
the uh, the 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 best thing about the colonoscopy <clears throat> is it's it's all the stuff, all the horror stories you hear. You don't have to drink ten gallons of stuff anymore. Right. They have pills for it. Oh, that's great. And um, I love pills. Me too. How many pills can you swallow at once, for real? I do mean, I don't know, Aaron. What's the record I have? Probably around eighty. <laughs> I could. Well, you see, I take vi I take a a, a a bunch of vitamins and uh, minerals in the morning. Not an empty stomach, right. I hope. Yeah, empty stomach pot of coffee is like is the way I like is to do that it. Right? Yeah. It's supposed yeah. to be. I like to have like the worst stomach yeah. ache ever all day. <laughs> it's get a little zinc and coffee. Yeah, yeah. That's, it's a good combo. Yeah. No, no I, I I don't take a lot of some. vitamins. You know, I kind of started with, uh, yeah, whatever. But doesn't I've, your body just, isn't it just... I think it gets rid of most of them, but there are things like, you know, I think, you know, a, a lot of people are vitamin D deficient. Right, so like vitamin D, right, I'll take a vitamin that, D. That, and, um, yeah, like, I don't go crazy, but there are, like, certain things where it's like, oh, magnesium is good right. for, like, magnesium, you know, yeah. This These are like ones I will B. take sometimes, right. Yeah, and it's like, it's not, it's like vitamin E, a multivitamin, um, some magnesium, and, uh... You know, horny goat weed and sure. no, I don't know. Right. I was trying to think of all like the weird ones. Truck, truck stop <coughs> dick pills. Yeah, yeah, the yeah those are great vitamins. Horn. <laughs> yeah, rhinoceros horn. Shark, <laughs> grounded up shark uh, brains. <laughs> yeah, and fin and brains. Whale dick. Love uh, whale dick. <laughs> yeah, uh, but it, it is a, it's kind of a well, it's not a tremendous amount. I don't know how many pills it is, but I do like throw them all in and swallow them you all don't at go once. To, and, right, so maybe eight to ten. I'd say 10, maybe. 10, I mean, of one. different sizes, yeah. Do they ever go down wrong, and yeah, then you're yeah. sort of dealing with it for like an hour and a half? Uh, I've had that. Only one time, really, at Disneyland. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> yeah, that's, so that's the perfect place to have. I had that to balance it out. Because we went, I did in the hotel room, I was like, ah, there's, I feel like there's, like there's a fucking fish oil stuck right here. <laughs> But then I went to the happiest place on earth, so you, you, know, you forget take, about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> for a little bit. And you could just get a bottle of water for twenty one dollars and just sip that for the rest of the day. Yeah, yeah. They're not that expensive, everyone. That's Come on, not, let, we're I'm not having gonna, a little fun. Yeah. Can I not have a little fun here? I'm trying to. All right, let's call I mean? this call this asshole wow. doctor. Okay. That's, now the way you said it. Yeah, that's true. I don't think it's you like it. Fence. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, and thank you for wow. choosing. You have reached. If this is an emergency and you require, uh, you know, why is it? Isn't it? Don't you miss the days when the life out someone it. would answer at a doctor's office? I, this, how long ago you know, was that? We, was that in our lifetime? We talk about this all the time. Yeah. Uh, the automated world. Automated system. Because here's, here's all the lies. Well, this is funny too. Anytime you call any kind of like doctor or urgent care, anything, they have that same thing. You've reached the, you know, asshole doctors. If this is a life-threatening emergency, please hang up and call 911. Right. So, like, you're in the middle of a crisis. Yeah, <laughs> and, and you're... It's just like, who painted this scenario? What, like, weird lawyer? Who got sued because yeah. they were like, I, you know, I slit my artery open and I was on Not hold. Not for but, us. Yeah. Not for us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, they kept me on hold too long and I die. Yeah. Now they're like, okay, now by I law... I was in Sizzler choking and I called <laughs> an asshole doctor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh... So that's silly to me because it's like, listen, if the person's in a crisis, you Help answer immediately yeah. and you take it from there. Yeah. Instead of giving you call nine one one in three way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, but then every single outside of you know every single other recording, they preface it with because they know you're calling to get a person, and right. it's like they say, please listen to all menu selections as the some of them may changed. have changed. Yeah. None of them have changed. Right. Did they just say that because they should just say? Listen, we know why you're calling. You want to talk to a person. You don't need directions because when you got the phone number, the directions are written right under it. Yeah. You are, you know, there's a whole series of choices. Guess what? The same lady's going to answer no matter what you push. Right. She, and she doesn't and, know what you pushed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, then, and then here's the other thing. You're like, okay, these, these bastards figure, figured out to push zero. Don't make it zero anymore. They did. That was a really, that's that was a real a great F phase. You. Yeah, because there was a time where you're like, ha, ha, hacked it. Well, it's like, listen, we all know why I'm, I'm calling to talk to somebody. Sorry, uh, your entry is not identified. You're yeah. like, Ugh. Yeah, we're sorry. And then it starts over again as like an extra or F you. Or you do three or four zeros, and then it's like, I'm sorry, we can't yeah, help sorry. you. Goodbye. Yeah. They hang up. Whoops. Yep. Uh, that's, I, you know, I've start, I don't have, I started uh, a bit about that stuff, but then I saw Kyle Dunnigan had a, uh, oh, he, he has a whole real funny thing, like. On 
on the on the recordings when they're like, I'm sorry, I didn't get that. Yeah. Like, you know, the because that's that's something that really gets under my skin, too, where it's like, don't humanize. Like, don't be like, hmm. Yeah. Like when they say, hmm. Seems like you're having a little trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're like, yeah, you're a robot. It's like, just put the person yeah, on. I'm struggling. I'm sure you can, like, you know, your algorithm, whatever, your computer can hear me screaming at the top of my lungs, yeah, like, yeah. I am raging, I'm representative! <laughs> beep, 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 beep! It's like... Oh, boy. Have... You really are on the struggle bus, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, gosh, you're really having a time, huh? Huh, oh, somebody is hangry. Oh, boy, you're really hangry, huh? Maybe you need a banana or something. If you threw your wife down the stairs, <laughs> press 9. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> on, on a level of 1 to 10, how angry are you? <laughs> Welcome to the please, Hangry Hotline. Please stick around for a short survey after. <laughs> that's the best, too. Yeah, yeah that's what oh, I want. Sure, yeah. A couple more minutes of this. That'd be yeah, great. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. really, let's take up an hour. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's, that's it's maddening. And that whole thing is like, just get rid of it. You know, it's like, okay, it was cool in like the 80s, whenever that started, where yeah. there were a couple businesses where they're like, look, we can't have 20 people answering the phones. Let's just have this thing, you know, put people on hold, like, you know. And then, But now it's just been like... Oh, now it's a way to just every, make you fuck off. Yeah. Like, every time I've called an airline, I mean, they'll, you know, it is absurd. You got to take the week off. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, it's a day. Um, yeah, it's, it's everything is designed to just drive you mad. Yeah, to make you point. crazy and fuck off. Yeah. We're past 10 minutes, I can say it. Fuck off. I we've I, yeah I think it's fine. Okay. Like I said, I'm I'm an artist first. Thank now you, you see a, a lot of these numbers I think are the same, and this is not. I'm sorry for you, everyone listening. Well, uh, you could also I mean if you're if you're hitting dead ends I mean you could call maybe a dermatologist and see if they know a good ass do asshole doctor <laughs> and then worst case get some advice. Now there. D now let's say you have a problem with the ass with the skin on your asshole. Sure. Who do you go to a dermatologist or a proctologist? Hello, I, and I thank you derma. for choosing. You have reached. Who would you do, asshole or derma? If this is an emergency oh. and you require immediate medical attention, <coughs> I do derma. Also I guess derma. Calls may be monitored and recorded okay, for quality assurance. All this we time, just available somebody... Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. Oh, to let me guess. You're at lunch. If you know your party's extension, no, that's the thing. They're open. Out. Please hold while your call right, is being transferred. Okay. All right. Thank you. Please hold while your call is being transferred to uh, somebody who's going to hang up on you right away. Remain on the line and your call will be answered in right. the order it was You're going to be on hold just to ask them. This is the other thing I don't understand. Yeah. The music. Wouldn't it, this is my pitch. Mm -hmm. Every 30 seconds you give me a beep. Some places do that. Do they? Yeah. Oh. Why doesn't everywhere? I think, you know, again, it's just some idea someone had. Or they start like, advertising at you. That happens. Well, that's that's annoying, yeah. When you're just being bombarded with, like... the like, bank will just be like, for... Have you thought about taking out a boat oh, loan? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, You should yeah. think about it. We've got great financing plans. Yes. It's just constant bombardment. And in every generation it goes by, it's, it's like, you know, like, we're old enough to remember, like, 9-11 as, like, adults, sure. basically. yeah. And... All this, like, you know, I know it's a distant memory now, but we remember before that, and then, like, you know, when the airports, when it changed to, like, okay, you're all a bunch of fucking criminals now, and we're yeah. going to treat you that way. Yeah. And it's great. that's... Then the generations after that, they're just like, well, that's just the way it is. Like, yeah. it's just like, oh, well, that's, what are you, what are you bitching about, old yeah. man? You just get fingered, and, like, you know, you got some fat idiot. <laughs> yeah. You just go through a little He's radiation tube. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, and that's what it is. And it's just like, of oh, course, cool. well, when you call a place, you're going to be on the phone for 20 minutes yeah, at least with true. robots. And that's just the way it no, is, old man. No, it's incremental shift. It is yeah. like if you have the memory, you get furious. But if it's at the prison you're born into, yeah, you are just like. You're just like, that's just the way it is. What's well, I think that when I fly with TSA PreCheck and the yeah. clear people, yeah, I'm like, I remember when TSA Pre was better than clear. And then now the clear people cut in front of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's like the clear is like a whole eyeball scan thing too. Where it's just the like, idea that you're giving up that retina that easy. Well, the idea, like you know, the people... I'm entrance only when it comes to my retina. <laughs> I only want movies and TV yeah, shows. Yeah, give me, going out. give me that. Well, nothing going out no. to the government. Thank you. Uh, 
Well, this is just, I guess it's just going to be too hard to get a doctor on the phone to find out if I... Isn't that great? Not a great Yes, yeah, if this was a real case of somebody whose poop was cold, we'd be dead by now. Wait. Hmm? Hello? No, no, I hung oh, up. Oh, you hung up? Uh, yeah, oh, I'm just like, I that's not... the answer, not that. No, no, no. <laughs> Are you hangry? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it is. But then maybe, I mean, I don't know who I mean, else it's, would call. I mean, you're so like, uh, I mean, we'll, we'll, I'll keep chipping away at it. But um, let's see what this one is. This does not look like... We well, see now this is saying that I called it already. Let's go down a few pages. We'll get some of the discount. Yeah, that's what doctors. I think you want too. You want someone who's answering on the there second ring. There we go. This guy I can't even pronounce his name if that's I try. Perfect. So, but see, it says that I called him before too. Maybe I called him a different time. Yeah, I was just gonna say you might. That's, that's the beauty of this. <laughs> yeah, I guess I gotta clear out my cash. Uh, yeah. Um. It's 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 a losing battle though. Like the. You know, trying to maintain any kind of modicum of privacy. Now, like, I'll put my foot down sometimes where it's just like, yeah. no, I'm not signing up. At the up. tone, please record your message. Well, when the you have finished recording, you may hang up or press we'll one for message. more okay. options. Okay. Hey, uh, this is the Bee Man, and I'm here with Gareth, my young cousin, Hi. who ate a bunch. He ate a whole ice cream cake, and now his poop's coming out cold. And we want to make sure, is this, should we hang up and call 911, or... I think, yeah. Is this something? Please. Why? Because it's happening to me. I mean, that is... <laughs> but is it... Uh, it's coming out like a frosty. Outside of your poop being cold, though, are there any other symptoms? The pee's hot. Oh, the pee's hot. But that's because you drank a bunch of coffee. Yeah, because I was trying to make my... I was trying to stabilize. Trying and this is an interesting... Out. Not to be off topic, doctor. But so we'll get... Uh, call us back and let us know what to do about that. But also, this... I just learned this today. Did you know that red wine tastes like ketchup and white wine tastes like mustard? I think we should stay focused on what's coming out of me. I just learned that. I know, but that's like, I don't know. Red wine is the ketchup of wines. When it hits the water, it steams. Yeah, so we have the cold poop pot It's like an situation. offensive line in the winter. And when we say the the piss is hot, we're not like piss, free. we're not saying like, oh, it's hot. Like, it's actually like boiling. It it's bubble. not quite boiling. No, but. it's bubbling when it, when it sits in the cake, the urinal cake, not the cake I ate. Okay. It bubbles. So that's it's but it's making the urinal cake sizzle and bubble. So and then the poop is making steam. So it's steaming when it hits the like an offensive line in the cold who's just right on the on like the when the steam's coming off their heads. Yeah, yeah. sometimes. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and this and we have heated toilet water. So when the cold like you hear the poop crack like ice when you know when you put ice into a you know well the water's cold to touch the water's colder to touch once it goes in yeah once it goes the in overall temperature and also dropped. i guess we could call a plumber for this maybe we'll call a plumber after That's you a good because idea. is that going to is that going to jeopardize the integrity of the toilet bowl? i want to get this solved before the the plumbing stuff though okay cuz i want really it's in me okay well he's he's starting to freak out i think i'm not and, happy well don't eat any more ice cream what are you doing well i just wanted to try well <laughs> i guess the de okay have you tried it it's good, but it's I mean, you're eating so cake. much that it's your poop's cold. So maybe give it a rest. Yeah, but I drink coffee. That's our question. Here we oh, are. There we, here we are again. So yeah, you, you'd, you'd think the coffee would balance out the cold poop. Will it? It's and just making the pee hot. Should I not eat any more of this cake? Yeah, it's it is good cake. It's unbelievable. And does that factor into the health risks? Like, by the, is the if the cake wasn't as good, is it gonna make it like more dangerous as we go down the line eating it? It's like brain freeze, but it starts at my tailbone. Okay, and now is that healthy? Should we go to the doctor? I guess just Is call us back. Yeah, okay. hurry up. Yeah, hurry up, please. Hangry up. Uh, thank you. Yeah, thanks. And um, did you leave a number? I think he can get our number here. Oh, right? okay. Call this number back. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Uh, that's the dog. He came in. He ate. Oh, and then here comes. Oh boy. <laughs> that's my cousin's dad. My, my it's my baby uncle. Furious. All right, we'll talk to you later. Thanks a bunch. Bye. Baby uncle doesn't make sense. He wouldn't have a kid. Well, I definitely thought there was a shorter route to whatever that is. <laughs> Brother? <laughs> yeah, I guess that would be my... Brother-in-law? My uncle. Brother if you're my uncle? cousin, your dad's my uncle. Yeah, baby uncle, though. Oh, well, your ba baby... My Well, they're your two different people. Uncle. You can't. Oh, okay. Your dad can't be my baby uncle. My baby uncle is my grandma's... My grandmother just had a baby, mm -hmm. so that would be my uncle. Your grandma, you're right. He's a baby. Right, right. And I just kind of, you know, 
No, but off. I like the way you describe it. I went off the rails. No, I think that, I mean, it's not a note. I hopped off the logic. It's not a note. So it was, oh, here we go, plumbers. Now here we go. Now you're going to get a plumber on the phone, right? Uh huh. Yes. You're not getting a phone tree. If this is an emergency, please hang up and call one eight hundred. Please call, call Roto Rooter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> call one eight hundred S H I T A S S. Should we just call one eight hundred shit at? Let's do that okay, first. Okay, we'll see do that. What, see what happens. Sure. Yeah, because that, whatever that is, I wonder what else it could be. <laughs> I mean, it's it could just be the luckiest person in the world yeah. to ever get a 1-800 yeah. number. Yeah. It might be disconnected. If it is, I'll find out like how much it is. they're all connected. Yeah. I feel like they ran out of 800s. 888s you could still find. We'll try an 888 because it's not even... That's nothing? It's not even going through so yet. So we could buy 1-800 shit ass? Is that what the... It's not even it's ringing. It's a pretty big deal. Seven four four eight two. If you want to try it at home, it's a seven four four eight two seven seven. Spell shit ass. I mean, that would be a great number just to get. And I wonder That's if what the I number need. you have dialed. Okay. Wow. Don't yell. Let's call <laughs> shit ass. Okay. That's. <laughs> That's the. <laughs> it's much better. Well, I mean, this is this could be a this is could be the coolest the, person the, in the world. This could also be someone who's about to find out some really crazy stuff about their number. Yeah. <laughs> Someone oh, called I'm me sure and explained that. I don't know. I wonder. <laughs> three, two, three. It depends. Oh, well, now we have to. Oh, boy. What? You got to block it? Well, listen, if you're listening, don't don't call this guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is just for special occasions. Yeah, yeah. So. I don't think it's a, I don't think it works. Hold on. That means they did know. Oh, okay. I can call it. Just don't call that number. I'm yeah, not being... Leave this person alone. No, it's not. It won't go through. Oh. Maybe they... Let's see if there's a... Uh, shit ass. Sure. I was going to go... Classic. Go with it. Go with it. All right. We'll give it a shot. A little East Coast attitude, too. Oh. Yeah. I don't know what that was. Maybe... It Oh, the number you dialed oh, uh, is not in We're not in doing service. that anymore. I thought we retired that feature. <laughs> well, now, can we get that number? Yeah. I wonder if it's a landline. Okay, let's I try. Uh, okay, here. And I'm going to copy and paste this part. See, this is a good podcast, right? Yeah, it's a great <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Of course. It's an honor. No, this is, this is, go. uh, of course. Hello? Hey, how's it going? This is, uh, Brendan and Gareth. Hi. Um, do you, are you aware that your number, it's, uh, do you know what your number spells out? Your phone number? What do you mean? Well, so you dial your area code, right? And then the, the numbers, if you look at the letters and don't, pardon my French, but it spells shit ass. If you look at the keypad and the letters on the numbers, did you know that? No. Yeah. Yeah. So that's an easy way to give out your number. Okay. Why are you calling me then? Well, we were just calling every area code and then spelling shit ass. We're just letting everyone with that number know. Because it's less, oh, okay. it's easier to give it out. And it's cool. Okay. So yeah. if, if somebody's like, hey, what's your number? Say your area code. Or people don't even need to share the contact or anything. You can just say New York shit that. ass. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that's crazy. <laughs> I mean, she just answered. I just oh. hung out. <laughs> Absorbed the info. and I mean, it's I, here's what I know. She's mm -hmm. still thinking about the call. She didn't seem to really like, I don't. I, don't I think, think she's still thinking about us. Let's see if somebody in Philly has that. Oh, yeah. great. You're picking great towns. You're picking the, the tolerant towns. Yeah. I grew up in Philadelphia. And I love you for this it. This person's going to, I mean, this person either knows already. Yeah, that's why I got or it. Or it's going to be a really old, angry guy. Yeah. Uh, oh, see? Somebody beat us to it. Yeah. Probably uh, the Danish O'Neill or, or yeah. Theo Vaughn. <laughs> yeah. Theo Vaughn's calling him on his podcast. Yeah. 
stole my idea. Yeah. Uh, let's see, what's a... Uh, Milwaukee? That's where I'm from. Do you know the... Yeah, 414. And folks, I cannot stress enough. Please do not don't call do this. These please Come on. don't. You're going to ruin it for everybody. Yeah, this and is these just, people don't deserve it's it. It's a slice of fun. Let's yeah, leave it there. This is just for this. Like you don't go around, you know, you don't try to jump on stage and sing "Summer Wind" with Frank Sinatra. Well, I did, but that actually is a bad example. That's that a ter- very crazy example, honestly. Yeah. Feels a little targeted. Everybody, you know, wouldn't that be funny if this shit ass is talking to the other shit ass? <laughs> just so you know. Yeah. So that's landline, right? I guess, or it's a like a dis instead of the. the Let's see. Let's, well, let's try 888. Okay. Yeah, right. Right. Oh, but I, what I was saying about the colonoscopy, best thing, they knock you out for it. Have you, have you had like any surgeries? Have you been knocked out any time recently? Uh, or in memory? No, not recently, no. I, I mean, I had my tonsils out when I was eight. Um, I think that's the only other time I got knocked out. And this, you know, this was just last year when I got the colonoscopy. Yeah. and um, Or maybe this past year. Either way, Michael Jackson was on to something with that. Oh, like, really? What is it? Di- the fence, or I don't know what it is. Pro- right. pro- pro- propofol. 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 Okay. Whatever it is, man. Great. It is amazing. Like you're laying on the table, you know. And the guy's like, all right, you you know, whatever, puts it into the thing that goes into your arm. And you can't fight, you know, I, I was like, okay, I'm going to try to, f-, and you just, you're out like a light. Right. And then you wake up, I don't know how long later it was, but you just feel great. Really? Yeah, I felt so great. So you it was still got so, a, such a good mood. Really? And how long does that stick around? The, I mean, I wasn't like in a good mood, like goofy. I mean, I just felt like well rested and like, all right. And like, like my ass didn't hurt or Aston anything. There was no, 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 I guess they're not. They're it's not probably, big. yeah, I wonder, like, and listen, I'm not, you know, I had good insurance and it's whatever the anesthesiologist costs right. was pro- like, but I'm curious. It's like, can you do it without love? Listen, like, I'm not, uh, I like how bad could, it's like, okay, yeah, listen, I'm could not sticking stuff up my ass all the time, sure. but it's like, I'm sure it's not like that tripod, you know, like, I'm right. sure it's like a pretty, I'm sure they have things Small down tube. to like a pretty, like, look, look, I mean, it's just a camera, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. I don't know what, uh, may, I don't know if they have to knock you out. There's this guy, Kevin Williams from uh, Minneapolis, who gave me this joke. He quit doing stand up and then started doing stand up again and was like, you can't do that joke anymore. Oh. Well, lesson learned. Don't ever take it. Don't, uh, even if they're like, it's yours, take it. <laughs> and that it never... does seem strange. Did yeah, you do it? Oh, yeah. I loved yeah. the joke. Because oh, okay. he, like, he used to open for Tosh and stuff, and he had this joke, and I'll tell you. And he was, I was like, I f- love that joke. That is so funny. And he's like, it always, he's like, it always bombs. You can have it. I don't even do stand up anymore. I'm like, great. I'll, and I didn't, do, it wasn't like an, inter- but it's something that I would just, I would throw out there yeah, occasionally. Because right. I did always feel, you do feel a little weird when yeah. you're like, it's like, do I do a whole lead up? Like, listen, I didn't write this. It's a no. friend, but he doesn't do it. No, you no. just got to do it. Yeah, but yeah. then when you're just doing it, you feel a little like. I feel like I just did someone. I don't know. It's strange. But I would do it occasionally. And the joke is, um, I was reminded because of the tripod. He says, uh, he says, I, I, uh, I took a woman after the show last night. I brought a woman back to my hotel room. And when she came in, she saw I had a tripod set up next to the bed. And she's like, no, 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 no. I'm not. I don't want you filming anything. I'm not into that. And I said, no, no, you got it all wrong. I shoved that in your pussy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great joke. <laughs> you know what it is? I didn't see it coming. Yeah, you don't see it coming. <laughs> no, it's one of those. Uh, yeah, it's great. And uh, but then yeah, like he's. And then if me. it bombs, that's when you go. Yeah, it's just this guy. It's this other guy's joke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This I don't think guy. it ever bombed when I did it. I yeah, should, it's great. Yeah. And I probably honestly. Yeah. Thinking about it, I probably only did it like five, right. maybe ten times. To- no, I, I'm going to say maybe five times over the course of a year or two. I had a buddy give me a premise, mm-hmm. but it basically the pr- very much his premise, like from a bit he tried two times when he tried stand up. Yeah, and I ended up writing that out to a bit. And even then, if I would say at times just as a reflex, be like, my buddy wrote some of that. Oh, and if yeah. he was at a show, I'd be like, that's his joke. Yeah, yeah. Or if someone yeah. would come up at the end, I'd be like, he gave me that. You have to. You yeah. can't just take. There was another guy who had, and he's like a real clean comic. And he had a joke. This, I mean, I don't even want to cry. I don't know if he wants credit for it. 
but he gave me this joke that I had I didn't do I wouldn't do I didn't do it in my regular act but I had this character scary monster that I did a couple times uh -huh. and I put it in the scary monster bit and the joke goes and this goes along with our ice cream uh, Auschwitz thing. Uh, I, I, don't know if I, I don't know if R is the right. Again, I. Well, when you were said, well. No, no, because if I, I remember correctly, Aaron, you were, saying, you were to... denying the Holocaust. No, 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 I, I, no, no, no. And I said, are you just denying the ice cream part or the whole thing? And you I, said, I don't even know about is, the ice cream part. That, I feel like the. All right, whatever. Anyway. Yeah. It was after you weren't doing your whole Fauci thing, the whole rant. <laughs> that um, happened? I'm pretty By sure. By the way, I'm that's maybe. not mine. A guy gave me that. <laughs> just so you know. Well, in this joke, this is a hard, like, whatever. This is, I'm just going to do it. Because I also think this is a brilliant joke. Very funny. But this super clean comic was like, you know, I can't do that in my act if you want it. Uh -huh. I was like, well, maybe I'll do it with Scary Monster. He says, you know, you know, must be having a horrible time in hell right now. Hitler. You know, surrounded by all those Jews all the time. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> that's <Christ>. <laughs> undeniably a great joke. I mean, I don't care how sensitive you are. But uh, that was even too much where I'm like, well, I'm not going to put that in my... That's oh, not yeah. In my, but no. like as this character, yeah, I'm right. like, well, that, that could be a good scary monster right, joke. Right, right. It's just me dressed as a monster telling a right. bad monster joke. Right. Uh, all right, let's try <laughs> shit ass. Uh. Yeah, I would love to give that guy credit, but I don't think he wants it. Yeah, I he's, can understand. He's a that. very squeaky clean. I'm sorry. What is this? This is. Can I help you? Oh, I was returning a call. I thought, is this shit ass? So I called. Hold on. S H I T. Yeah. What is this business? Hmm. <laughs> what did she Some say? Some people just don't want to know. For the full uncut episode, head to patreon.com slash world record podcast. For the full uncut episode, head to patreon.com slash world record podcast. Patreon.com slash world record podcast.